Hello fellow game collectors. I had a an amazing weekend of yard sale pickups. It's actually just two yard sales, but it's so amazing and I got so much stuff I'm going to break it up into two videos. So this is part one. This is the first yard sale pickup I went to. Uh the night before the yard sale, uh, my girlfriend she saw it on the way home, she stopped and asked if they had any games. I said that, you know, come back in the morning. Uh, and they would pull some stuff out to sell. So I go there first thing in the mornings because, you know, I got a good lead. And this is what I came out with. Everything for $60. So to begin with, in the back, a Wii. I haven't tested it yet, but it should work. And it's got the, the sensor bar, the power adapter, uh, a Wiimote with the the motion plus or whatever you call it attachment, a nunchuck, a steering wheel attachment. I have one of these, except it's it's just the wheel part. It's not. It, this has got like a thing so you can stick it to a you know, your table and get some resistance or something. Um, and it also came with uh, the other. Like a, another wheel that you just wrap around your controller and just hold it freestyle. Um, the only thing that's missing is an AV cord. So I've got to test that. But um, So with that, there was a box of games. Uh, so I'll just start with the pile over here. Um, let's see. We have... One GameCube game, Frogger Beyond. Never heard of it, never played it. I hope it's cool. Looks cool. Um, I don't have enough room here. A few PlayStation 2 games. Uh, Friends, the one with all the trivia. So I guess that's just a, a trivia game um, for Friends. I don't know. I, I didn't really get into Friends. Yeah, I'd watch it. It was alright. Uh, Nickelodeon, the Spongebob Squarepants movie for PlayStation 2. Uh, again, I haven't tested these yet, so I don't know what they're like. So again, let me know in the comments below if, if any of these are good or bad. Uh, this is sealed, the official World Series of Poker, um, Play the Pros. I mean, it's, it's got, so it's got a sleeve, but it's, it's sealed. I can't even pull the, the game out. Um... I will, I don't know, I'll probably unseal that. Uh, so, and then a bunch of Wii games. So, Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party. Uh, I don't have the dance pad for the Wii. Uh, my girlfriend said she does, so maybe we'll check that out. Uh, Hasbro Family Game Night. So you can play, like, Sorry and Yahtzee Connect 4. Uh, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock, I have this for Wii already. Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings, uh, don't know anything about it. Mario Party 8, I already have this, uh, I love Mario Party games. I think I like the ones for N64 the best, um, but Mario Party 8 is the one that's notoriously known for the, uh, Shake the Can game. In case you don't know, you, you take the Wiimote and you shake the can. Uh, Monster 4x4 World Circuit. So I guess like a monster truck game. I have a nephew. He he loves monster trucks. He'd probably like to play that. Okay, and we've got Pirates of Caribbean at World's End. Tony Hawk's Proving Ground. Again, I haven't played any Tony Hawk since the, the third one. So I don't know if it's any good. Uh, Top Spin 3. So I now have 1, 2, and now 3. Uh, 1 for Xbox, 2 for PlayStation. I think it was PlayStation, and um, now 3. Uh, Wii Ski. Wii Fit, to go with the Wii Board. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I bought a Wii Fit and Wii Fit Plus. It's alright. It's, you know... If you like yoga or something, sure, but, you know, playing this video game is not going to get you fit. You need to go outside, go run, go lift some weights, do something else. 
Don't don't be don't don't stay indoors all day. Uh, weed music, which uh, weed music, I haven't played it before. I heard it's more it, it's more like a tech demo than a game. It's like you know, here's some instruments and play them. I don't know. So, we play, uh, which is more. I think it's like kind of like Wii Sports like games. Uh, table tennis and whatever. I haven't played it. Wii Sports, which uh, came with every Wii. Uh, I love this. I, you know, sure it was, you know, Wii was kind of a gimmick, but, you know, I love these games. I love bowling because I like to bowl in real life. I like the boxing and I like the golf and the tennis. You know, it's, it's fun. Uh, Wii Sports Resort, which I think is just more Wii Sports games. I haven't, I don't know, I haven't played it before. I don't know if it's any good. And, uh, ABC Wipe Out the Game. If it's anything like the show, it should be good. <laughs> so, that and Ninja Warrior are, are fantastic to watch. So, that was all together, and then there was a bag. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. Actually, there's some more games. Uh... PlayStation, so A Bug's Life, PlayStation 1, I'm going to love playing this one, uh, Barbie Super Sports, I'm guessing uh, she had a, a daughter or something, uh, Crash Bandicoot 2, uh, I already have all the Crash games, well my girlfriend does, but, uh, Crash Bandicoot Warped, uh, Croc Legend of the Gobos? Uh, I don't know. Gobos? Gobos? Uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I love Harry Potter. I haven't played any Harry Potter game though, so I don't know which ones are good. I heard some of them are good and some of them are, are not as great. Uh, here's another game I'm going to love to play. Mary Kate and Ashley, Magical Mystery Mall. Uh, <laughs> looks terrible. Uh, Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. I was a big fan of Scooby Doo growing up. Love the cartoons. And uh, my girlfriend's a big uh, Miss Pac Man fan, so here's Miss Pac Man Maze Madness for Dreamcast. I, I don't know, it's just a random Dreamcast game and, and a lot of Wii and PlayStation games. So uh, it looks like, if you've played the Nintendo 64 one, it looks similar to the Nintendo 64 and Ms. Pac-Man. But I don't know if it's the same game or different or what. Let me know in the comments. So, uh, as I was saying, so all of this was in a, in a box, in a bin, um, and then there was a bag. And inside of that bag were these two uh, carrying cases. So, uh, the Nintendo DS one had this fat Nintendo DS the original Nintendo DS, uh, which I, I didn't own a Nintendo, a fat Nintendo DS, I, I owned a Lite. Um, and the smaller bag had the Game Boy Advance SP. This is funny because the other SP that I showed in a previous video I got the day before I got this one. So I've really been wanting to get another SP and I found two SPs within, I'm going to say within like 24 hours, 12 hours even. Um, and then the ba and loose in the bag, Game Boy Color. I already have a Game Boy Color, um, but mine is solid purple, indigo, whatever color you want to call that. Uh, this one's clear. I mean, I think I think every kid growing up loved to have the consoles, the handhelds that were clear and see through, so you could see the the circuit board and and the speakers and everything underneath. Um, and then a a Game Boy Advance, which is pink, so uh, another reason why I think it was a girl that was the woman's child, um, again, my, mine is, uh, purple or transparent purple, I can't remember, one of the two, um, and all of those work, work great, um, and there were also some games, so Pokemon Blue, this was the Pokemon that I had growing up. Uh, fantastic. Yeah, I mean, Pokemon was just, I, I can't even explain in words how great playing Pokemon for the first time was. 
it, it was a big hit. Um, uh, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. So this is the Super Nintendo game of Super Mario World for Game Boy Advance. Again, horrible naming system for those games. Uh, Egg Mania. Don't know anything about that. Uh, Over the Hedge. I guess it's from the movie. I hadn't seen that movie, so I don't know. Um, uh, this doesn't really have a title, but it's Connect for Perfection and Trouble. Just a, a multi-game cart. Uh, Super Mario DS. Super Mario 64 DS. So this, uh... I've I've test I I've played this before I I don't didn't previously own it, um, but it's essentially Super Mario 64, but you get to play as three other characters, including uh, in addition to Mario, uh, like Yoshi, and I don't remember who the other two were, I guess Luigi and someone else, um, a PlayStation memory card. Uh, they actually, she actually had a PlayStation there, a, a PlayStation 1, but I didn't pick it up because uh, I don't need one. I have one, and I don't think anyone really wants them since, in case you didn't know, every PlayStation will play PlayStation games. So if you have a PlayStation 1, a PlayStation 2, or even a PlayStation 3, it will play PlayStation 1 games, with the exception of PlayStation 4. So if you have a PlayStation 3 or older, it will play PlayStation games. Uh, a Leapster game... Yeah, so a lot of people don't know that fact. Uh, a little carrying case for DS games. And uh, four VTEC games. Uh, or, I don't know. I don't have a VTEC. Uh, geography quiz. History hints. Uh, spelling bee. And storyteller. I don't know anything about VTEC. So, anyway, so everything on this table for $60. Couldn't be... I, I don't know. I'm just... I was just so happy. Um, I don't need the Wii, so I'll, I'll probably sell that off to someone. Um, I, I actually have two Wiis. Uh, I have one and my girlfriend has one. And I don't see the point of having any more than two of any console. So, I'll use that to help fund my collection. Um, so, anyways, guys, that's all I got today. So... Thanks for watching, and as, al as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in part two, because I have even more goodies I got from another yard sale.